Hello guys, today let's create a burst effect like the spike in Warrant. Okay, first we need to create a material for the black sphere. It's always blend mode, translucent, and lead, but this time we don't need to set it. And here we need a depth fade to create an emissive edge when the sphere contacts objects in the level. Okay, let's try it at 1 minus and connect it to emissive color. In the level, we need a mesh to use our material, this cube. Okay, we can see the effect. When it contacts with objects in the level, the edge will turn white. And if we move it away, it's black, yes. Okay, back to material. Let's add some animation effect. First, we need a noise texture. Then add a text card and panel to control its speed and tiling. The tiling, we can set it to 10 because the sphere is very large. And speed, we can set it to 0 0.1. It's okay. Then we need a type. Y is the noise texture and X is depth fade. Okay, multiply the depth fade again because the value of our emissive edge is the same after step. So we multiply it by depth fade, then will be a gradient effect which looks better. Finally, we can add a particle color to control it in Niagara. Okay, save the material. Now let's create a Niagara system. Okay, first we need a mesh render. And mesh, we can use the sphere in the basic shape. Also use our material. And then let's add a spawn burst. We just need one sphere. Lifetime is 5. Okay, color, we can set it to 1 a default color and mesh scale mode we need a large value maybe 5 okay let's set it in the level okay it still looks a bit small let's add a scale mesh size in particle update we can use a curve to control the mesh size when keydata is 0, the size is also 0. 0 0.5 is 1. 0 0.8 is also 1. Because we need to keep it going for a while. Finally, when keydata is 1, the value is 0. And scale curve, we can set it to 8 to make it look larger. Okay, this size is good. Oh, we spawned two spheres. Why? Let's check it. Okay, we have two spawn bursts. I don't know when it was added. Let's delete one. Okay, now let's create a new material. It's same translucent and lead, and we need a texture of water caustics. Then let's add a desired effect. We made it many times, so let's fast forward to this part. Okay, in Niagara system, let's copy the burst emitter. Here, we use the sphere and the new material. Well, no effect can be seen. Let's set the color to 20. In mesh rendered, sort order hint, we can set it to 1. 
Now we can see the effect. Because when these emitters overlap, the one with the higher order will be displayed first. Ok, let's add scale color in particle update. Scale RGB, we don't need to change it. Alpha, we can use the curve 0 to 1 to 0. Key data is 0 0.1, the value is 1. Key data is 0 0.6, the value is 0. Let's see it in the level. Ok, it looks good. Now let's copy another emitter. Here we need a material instance. Use the material we just recreated. We need some changes to these parameters. Mask, we can set it to 10. Power is 20. Speed 0 0.5, 0 0.5. B is 0 0.25. A is 0 0.15. And tiling R is 0 0.5, J is 2. B and alpha are same. OK. Back to Negra system and use the new material instance. Ok, let's take a look. Well, it may not be very clear. Let's hide this for a while. Ok, now we can see. We need a stronger color, so we can set the color to 100. Alpha is 10. Yeah, it's enough. And we don't need scale color. Okay, pretty good. Then we need a decal effect, so let's add a new empty emitter. Rename it to decal. And use the decal render. We also need a new material. It's very simple, we just change material domain to decal and blend mode to translucent. This color is zero. Black. And opacity, we can use radio gradient exponential. Multiplied by 0 0.8 to control its intensity. The density is 100. OK, save the material. In Negra system, let's use the material for the decal. At the spawn burst, the value is still 1. OK, let's see it in the level. Yeah, we can see the decal. But how do we control its size? It's very simple, we just need a particle attributes. Decal size. Yeah, it's here. Also, use a curve to control its size. It's the same like the sphere. 0 is 0. 0 0.5 is 1. 0 0.8 is 1. 1 is 0. And scale curve is 4000. Okay, let's see in the level. Yeah, it's great. Let's see the full effect. Uh, our decal should be a delay. So the key data is 0 0.9. OK. That's right. Then let's create a glow in the center. Add a new emitter. Spawn burst is 1. Initial particle, the color, we can set it to 100. Alpha is same, 100. Spread size, we can set it to 102. And we need a scale spread size in particle update. The curl is same as the sphere. OK, let's see it in the level. 
Okay, we didn't say anything because we forgot to change the sword or the hint. Let's set it to 99. Okay, we should say it now. Yeah, it's work. Finally, let's add some spark for this effect. This time we can use spawn rate. The value we can set it to 200. And we can use spawn probability. Use a curve to control it probability. When key data is 0, the value is 0 0.1. And key data is 1, the value is 0 0.7. Okay. And we need a ship location in particle spawn. We can use tours. Okay, we need to change the sprite size. They look too big. We can use a random uniform. 5 to 10. It's okay. Lifetime is also random. 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. And color is also 100. Okay, large radius, we can use curl to control it. The curl index we can use in meters, normalized loop age. 0 to 1 and scale curl is 1500 let's see it yes in this way there will be a gradual diffusion effect let's add curl not false in particle update the strength is 1000 frequency is 25 also we use pan not field also we need acceleration force we just need z axis force Use a curl 0 to 1, the scale curl is 2000. Yeah, that's right. And we also need to change the sort order hint. 99, okay. Okay, let's see the complete effect. Oh yes, we forgot to change the left cycle mode. To self, once. And loop duration is 2.5 because we only need the half the time. Just diffuse it to the max range. Okay, that's right. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.